Uh, you know, when you are attending this launch, because since I was appointed, I've attended two or three uh, ceremonies, you get emotional. One within you as a person to see people in the business community, the private sector, who saw and display a great sense of return to the community in which they are operating. The Madivanis, I must say, have been extremely exceptional. Whether you are looking at it in any other form, because within their setup, they have primary schools for their workers, they have secondary schools for their workers, and on top of that, of course, since I've been chairing the foundation, I got to realize that they put aside properties from which money is generated. Now, this is a great so a great challenge to our nationals who have been able in one way or the other to to make it if i could use the word to make it that uh, they should be prepared to give back they should voluntarily give back our community really calls on you to follow the spirit of the Madivanis. Because as you look at the table, because I have with me here since, because you are aware, of course, they started this way back in 62, then they discontinued because of whatever happened in between there. But later on, we launched in 2003. But the numbers as given to you uh, of uh, 2,078 the people were benefited. The beneficiaries who have given testimony. Um, I'm the current chairperson of all the alumni of the Madiban Foundation in the country, and I'm one of the beneficiaries of the Madiban Foundation. Um, in the cohort of 2004, uh, I was supported <coughs> by Madiban Foundation when I was in my second year of medical school and my parent, uh, my supporting parent had lost his job. So um, I had trouble raising my children at Makere University and Madhuvan Foundation, which I knew through um, a scholarship poster at the university then, uh, supported me with uh, school fees uh, to complete my course. It was a very good scholarship. Uh, that enabled me to concentrate more on my studies and I must say I'm extremely grateful because uh, I passed my, my course with a very good grade and um, that is because I didn't have any school fees issues. So um, because of this support I've been able to reach probably the highest level of my education and uh, enrolled for my PhD program. So. Um, I think the background of the Madhavan Foundation was really very critical and life-changing for my side. Uh, I benefited from Madhavan in the lot of 2009. Uh, I was doing a, a degree in business management. Um, I carried the work with the national media, uh, MTV Monitor and uh, the radio. The importance of the scholarship what changed me to me is that gave me a heart of long others. And I think for all that I've worked for, I've tried to bar other siblings. I am a little open, my mother and my father. Today, Dr. Mugai called me to be a person of math. Because the game have a lot. I have to skip from my house. I have something important, but I will come and get myself to the table. This is the heart that has, the discussion has built into me. See any other person wanting In that spirit, for me, what I can put back as a, a, a message to our friends in business in this country is please 
share with the others. And that means a lot. This is their business. It, the, the, the business belongs to them. It is not a state business, but they are prepared to give away 700 million. Now, I want to declare the launch for the 19, uh, the 2018, 2019 scholarships. So, Mr. Chairman of the subcommittee, uh, I'm handing over the 700 million yeah. that you are going to give away to the university to pay for university education for the success, successful public.